Hello and welcome to our monthly update on what people are watching in the UK. In September, total identified viewing dipped by 1% or 3 minutes month on month for an average of 230 minutes daily for all individuals aged 4 plus. This was also down 2% on last year. The category split saw 61% of people's viewing minutes spent with broadcaster content, while 22% was with video sharing services. The remaining 17% was allocated to pure play VOD services. In this month's What People Watch, we tackle the sound of silence as part of our ongoing challenge to reduce what is called unknown viewing. In the red part of the chart here, you can see how unknown viewing grew from about 10% of total identified viewing in 2014 to a peak of around 30% in 2020. At this time, SVOD and video sharing services were still part of unknown. The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the adoption of these services, further feeding the growth of unknown. In November 2021, we can see a steep drop in unknown as we added services like Netflix and YouTube to our definition of total identified viewing. However, at around 20% of viewing, unknown remained significant. This brings us to silence. Most of us will know from our personal viewing habits that the journey to finding something to watch can be torturous. A scroll through the EPG might be followed by a hopscotch through various different apps, and that's before you try and get everyone to agree. This journey is often accompanied by silence on the TV set. That's all well and good, but how could we go about defining and measuring silence? New meters were rolled out to the entire panel by late 2023, and they are part of the answer. They detect program audio and inaudible watermarks. They also pick up SI and SK codes from Sky set-top boxes. Another meter attached to the Wi-Fi router is checking to see if content is being served via IP. If these meters detect none of this, they do see that the TV set is on, silence is registered. We broke silence out from unknown in March of this year, and again on the chart we can see a steep change in the amount of time with the TV set recorded as unknown. At 7%, this is the lowest this figure has been for 10 years. This is also more than an academic exercise. Included within silence will be pausing of content, including live, on-demand or recorded playback. The proliferation of pause ads pioneered by Channel 4 some years ago makes this potentially useful. While recognising that not all silence is pausing, by profiling this audience we can get a steer on the kind of people that pause content, when they are likely to do it and within which content. All very helpful for advertisers and their agency partners when deciding where to best place their pause ads. Read the full article including a Rumsfeldian discussion of known and unknown knowns at barb.co.uk.